Love that. that. So yeah. hello everyone, it's Michelle and Jillian and we are here for Tip Tuesday Sexy Survivor Edition, talking all about fall makeup. Today, our guest is beautiful self founder and beauty expert Jillian Rizzo. And we are so happy to be back in session. And we mm -hmm. want to let you know all about for the month of October, the sexiest beauty is doing an amazing promotion for us. For every item that you purchase from the sexiest beauty, beautiful self receives a $10 donation. So if you buy three lipsticks, Beautiful Self receives $30. No code needed. This is huge. Thank you, Heather from Sexiest Beauty. And Jill is going to walk us through some of her amazing products. So please ask questions. And I have a question right now. So Jillian, what is your take on beauty right now? So we're coming out of like literally years and years of that heavy Insta style makeup, right? And, and then of course the past two years, no lips because of, of masks. So I'm happy to see that makeup is completely calmed down as a mainstream, right? You know, not just high fashion, but mainstream. And yes, I'm always about do what makes you feel amazing. But as an artist and a woman, my, I lean towards that very clean skin, you know, like everything very elegant and, and, and easy. So, you know, I'm happy to see that return. Yeah, the return of dewy skin, right? <laughs> well, the return of clean, be, like beauty, elegant, soft beauty. So what would you say are the most, the must-haves for fall, Angel? All right, so you have to have glowing, healthy-looking skin. Whatever that means for your skin type, that's what you want to have. A very reflective, soft skin. Number two, um, eyeshadow is on the back burner. So it's going to be lots of liner, lots of winged liner um, and mascara. And then, of course, the return of the lip is very important. So those three things, skin, eyeliner, lip. Okay, so masks off, lips on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why don't you walk us through the skin care first? Let's start there. All right, so I brought a few of my favorites. So you have to have a good exfoliator. I don't know if you can see this. I'll put it here. I know the light is a little wonky. Exactly. I, yeah, I Perfect. apologize. Right there. Okay, so you have to have a great exfoliator. This is 707 Flora um, Full Spectrum Hemp Extract. It's a CBD brand, but it is not like um, just some average. This is a brand that's science and been researched for years and years and years. I talk about it a lot. So I am obsessed with the 707 Core Cleanser Exfoliating Face wash number one because you have to get those dead skin cells off number two all right then i so i i'm a serum gal i absolutely love serums and this is clinique it's their smart clinical repair wrinkle correcting serum all right now clinique actually asked me to try this product i'm going back months and months ago um, before it just before it launched and now it's become a staple in my routine I, I, it's just, it's a core part of how I treat my skin because what it does is it attacks those little fine lines and deeper wrinkles from this multi-level approach. So it repairs, it rehydrates and it replumps. And I saw a huge difference. So I was really happy to speak about this product a lot for Clinique. Um, it, it is amazing and it's a long name, but it works. It's the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. So you exfoliate, you want to get yourself a really good serum, super important. Then you want hydrated, luminous skin. Now comes where I want to talk about the sexiest beauty because her rose line is absolutely spectacular. So first we have, this is the rose mask. It comes with this really cool little application um, spatula. What do you call it? Spatula? I don't even know what you call it. Heather, what do you call this? <laughs> it's very cool. It so, looks like an applicator or something to scoop it out with, right? Yeah, it's like a spatula. Yeah. yeah, it's really, it's it's just very cool. I didn't know if there was a fancier name for it. So what this does is it plumps, it firms, it refreshes, and it hydrates. So you put it on, I leave it on for like 15 minutes. I do it once a week and you definitely see a huge difference in the skin. So that is my go-to mask. She also has the Rose Glow Facial Oil. Now I wanna talk a second about facial oil. First of all, this is, you know, people say, oh, oils are all so small when you, when you get them. That's because they're pure. Oh, can you see that, Michelle? They are pure concentrate. This is pure rose extract. It is super, super nourishing and calming to the skin. So one drop in between the fingers, 
just all over the skin and let it soak in. And then of course, oh, and I do wanna talk about the um, Magical Miracle Makeup Remover Pads. So I, I use these every night, every whenever we're on a shoot because they lift away all dirt and debris on long wear lip, on stubborn eye makeup. It just, it, it's so soft and conditioning. It lifts it away, you rinse off the skin. So those are amazing too. Um, then of course, the mother of all moisturizers, the one I talk about 24 seven, especially if you have dry, dull, troubled skin, and that is the sexiest beauty rose bomb. Cannot get enough of yeah, this. Tell, tell me a little more about that rose bomb because we can't get enough of it. And I know it's a favorite and it, it you just mention it and everybody's like, oh, the rose bomb. Yeah, the rose bomb. I mean, I'm so happy that so many people are getting turned on to it because, well, first of all, it's, it's the skincare makeup hybrid. And I'm going to put everything on for you in just a second. It's vegan. It's so nourishing. It's this crazy, unique, melting texture. Like I'm going to put it on everywhere and do a makeup demonstration, but it melts deeply, deeply into the skin. You get long lasting hydration, long lasting nourishment. But the beauty of this is that it actually illuminates the skin. So it can be used as a makeup and skincare. It's really, really brilliant. And just a little bit goes a very long way. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. So Jill, would you like to start trying an application? Yeah, I want to show you um, what's going on with the skin. Now, I do struggle once I take my glasses off, but we're going to figure this out. So I don't have anything on my skin now. So my circles are a little bit darker and I have a little unevenness, but I want to start with the rose bomb. Like literally that is even a lot. You need so very little. I have my magnifying. Yeah, here. because you're putting yours on. I'm putting a little on too, because it just smells so good. It's delicious. It's not a crazy heavy rose, but it's a rose essence. Now you could just put this on really, and it leaves your skin so beautiful, so soft, so reflective. I, I wore just this in sunblock all summer and loved it. But now we're going into fall. So let's, um, let's warm up the skin a little bit. So I do a little bit of rose balm and you can see immediately, you see the reflection you get? Yep, absolutely. It's it's magnificent and you want that skin to be dewy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of foundation. We don't want a lot of foundation. So you just take a little bit. And I'm big on fingertips, brushes can come later. So just with fingertips, I wear it in like this. I don't just do, you know, um, like dot, dot, dot everywhere. So I'm gonna wear it in because the object is to keep the skin clean, sheer, and just take out any little small imperfections or any little redness. So soft, 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 over the rose balm, fingertips, let it sit. Now, this is from Impact Cosmetics. Let me just put my glasses on. Stanley sent this to me a while back when we did a promotion with him and I fell in love with it. It's the Golden Impact Liquid Bronzer. Ooh. It is completely, oh, it's so good, Michelle. It, it's completely transparent and all it does is warm up the skin without giving you a fake tan, but it's great, especially now because we're going into that season where we're all kind of losing our color. Yeah. So I just take, again, it's a little bit, fingertips, always on the and warm, just warm the skin. You do the rose balm, even just with this, and the skin is a thousand times um, warmer, softer. It just looks more youthful. Okay, perfect. So we do that. Yeah, your skin is completely soft and glowing right now. And it's a little bit warmer. Do you see what I mean? Without Absolutely. being heavy. I'll be coming over for some of that. <laughs> Would you like me to do a little delivery to you? I might need that. Okay. <laughs> Sanitating. <laughs> it's that time of year. So I'm just going to let everything sit for literally like one minute because I'm using fingers and I'm not brushing anything on heavily. So then what I like to do, this is how clean the skin should be. Then I just take a little bit of concealer where you need it. I'm using Christopher Buckle concealer. I love his concealer. Yeah. It's, it's a nice a great little blush. Yeah, it's got a night. I have a little pimple down here. Oh, yeah. That's it. Just clean it up. Maybe a little redness around the nose, little shadows, but that's it. Tap in the concealer. Beautiful. Yeah, clean everything. Now, the eye makeup is already done. So just clean, clean, 
clean skin. So a little bit of rose balm, just a little bit. I'm telling you, if your skin is dull, dry, you don't feel like you're getting um, that hydration or that luminosity or that radiance, this is so unique. And I'm telling you, it melts into the skin. It's for any skin type, any age. It's a makeup skincare hybrid. Um, it's so nourishing. I can't say enough about it. I just, I just can't. So a little bit of that, again, everywhere. Follow up with a little bronzer, which is the liquid from Impact. A little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer. And then if you need it, a very slight dusting of powder. If you want to add blush, add blush. I'm not a blush girl, so I'm not going to add blush. But you can always add just a little bit of blush. I'm just going to put a dot of powder. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And that's it. I mean, it shouldn't Beautiful. be hours and hours doing makeup. It should Beautiful. just... It should be one, two, three. Skin should look flawless. Done. Yeah. Skin is completely glowing. Now, what about the eyes? Well, the eyes, you know, I did it again. The eyes are really taking kind of a weird back seat. Um, you can, eyeshadow is not as important. Like I would say maybe a single sweep, but what's important is doing like a really nice cat eye. I have on e.l.f. I love e.l.f. gel eyeliner, just kind of wing it out and then lots of mascara and then really just kind of staying in tune with creating a fuller version of your own brow, but not making yourself crazy. Because let's face it, you know, it's eh, we don't have boy brows, but not all of us have those beautiful brows that they soap up and make them look so full and fabulous because let's face it, most of us live through the 90s that are that are in our group. So yeah, just fill them in a little bit and that's it. So it's a little more natural, but there is strength to that eyeliner. Okay, now my favorite. Let's you love lips. Talk about lips. Okay, I good. I can't wait to get some of this on. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so it comes down to two choices. Do you want a soft lip or, or do you want a, a bright lip? Now, if you go for the brighter lip, cherries, raspberries, pinks, reds. If you go for a neutral, now that it's full, we want to stay away from beigey beige. Mm -hmm. and move into more like richer neutral tones. So the Sexiest Beauty did come out with um, a whole slew of new colors. So I want to walk you through, excuse me, I'm just looking for a tissue in my pocket. Um, allergies. I can't, my fall allergies are worse than my spring allergies. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. So let me walk you through her first, her new matte shine colors. The matte shine lipstick is beautiful. It's even saturated color. So this is, can you see this? Yeah, okay. Beautiful. This is power plum. It's an earthy nude plum. I would say like a really beautiful mauve. I'm going to put it on right there. So it's a really, really pretty mauve. Next we have plush petal, which is a rich pinky neutral. So I'm going to put this one right here. Take a look at that. These are great. Heather, you did outstanding on these new colors. Playful Peony is a gorgeous, uh, soft nude pink. If you like, really like soft, I would go in there. Then we have Creamy Caramel, which is a soft brown. So pretty. These remind me a little bit of 90s. They kind of have that 90s flair to them. And then we've got Sexy Strawberry and Sexy Strawberry mm -hmm. is a pink strawberry red, which is so beautiful for fall. So take a look. Those are her new matte shine colors. Really beautiful, really, um, they're long wearing, but they are hydrating and they're soft and they really cushion the lips. I'm gonna put one of those on in a minute. Then Heather also has her extreme long wear lip color. Now I do wanna talk about that for a minute. First we have, um, Love Punch. Love, pump, love, love Punch is kind of like a, a vivid pinky coral tone. Then we have my favorite is the Showstopper. Showstopper is a beautiful, soft, cherry red. It's, it's so pretty for fall. Then we have Skinny Dip. Skinny Dip is, is really kind of a very, um, it's a rich nude. It's a rich nude um, beigey color. Then we have Pink Cloud. And this is kind of a whitish pink if you like that kind of 1960s vibe. And then of course we have Foxy, which is a deep brown burgundy. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's really rich and deep. Now I do want to say with Heather's long wear lip, you need one swipe. Long wear lip is amazing. These will not come off. I mean, 12 hours, they don't, they don't move, but you can't 
mm, everything, you know, it's got to be a very simple, gentle application, let it dry, don't touch it, don't keep reapplying it. So I'm going to just go ahead, line my lips and put on, like, I'm just wondering if I should put on a long wear or if I should put on a matte shine. What's great about the long wear too is this, the tip of the brush, you can use it as the liner too. Yeah, I mean, I can do showstopper. It's so beautiful. Maybe I'll do a little showstopper. So showstopper is just a pink red strawberry color. Wait till you see it. Now I do want to remind everybody again, Heather is just so amazing. She's a very small indie brand and yet her generosity is so extreme. You know, it's amazing. And as a nonprofit, we are out there all the time. And of course we talk to giant companies, but you know what? We don't get answers sometimes, but Heather always comes to the plate and says, what can I do for you? And the fact that she gives us $10 on every single item sold through the entire month of October is huge for us. I really, I always say, so shop local, shop um, indie, it's great. So I'm gonna put uh, Showstopper on. So this is long wear, let me show you, really easy. Yeah, there's that tip, it's like a liner, beautiful. That's it, right under the curve. Round top. That's it, so now they're lined. And when you fill them in, again, it's a long wear lip. So you don't wanna be like, you know, over and over again. It should be so clean, just like this. Bam. That's it. That's it. I'm going to give it a second to dry. And again, this is showstopper, which is so beautiful for fall, especially, you know what? It's so pretty when you have that little bit of bronzy pink on the skin, like any skin tone from the fairest of the fair to the deepest of the deep. When you have that warmth and that tiny little bit of luminosity and that little bit of pink gold glow coming off the skin is so pretty. And then the cherry red lip. I'm going to let this dry a second. Once it's dry, that's it. You're not taking it off unless you use an oil or unless you use the Magic Miracle makeup remover pads. Okay. So then I'm going to go and follow up with the DSL lip gloss. This is high shine diamond lip gloss. It's so ridiculous how high shine this is. Here we go. We use this all the time at Beautiful Self. We just used it in uh, our last session with the lovely Catherine too. Gorgeous. Look at that. Well, you can't beat a good shine. No. I love the color. I love your lips. I love the shine. You are ready to go. Now I'll tell you another reason I do like putting DSL lip gloss over any long wear lipstick. Long wear lipstick by nature is going to be a drier lipstick. It doesn't have a choice. It's how it's made. And what the DSL does is it puts a high shine on top, but the lipstick doesn't, it doesn't move underneath. The color is always there, but you're getting that kind of layer of hydration on top, which I think is such a wonderful combination. So that's it, Michelle. It's about really soft, you know, illuminated skin, hydrated, healthy skin, a little bit of warmth, just correcting anything that you see that you don't like. Um, winged liner, natural soft brow, full as you can make them without going over the top. And then either doing a rich neutral lip or a real like this, like a showstopper, like a cherry red kind of lip. And that's yeah. it. That's it for fall. Fantastic. Jill, thank you so much for your tips. <laughs> Love you, love everything about you. And you know, we are really fortunate at Beautiful Self because Jill is on top of her game as far as a beauty advisor and an authority. So she brings that to every survivor that walks in our door. And we are just so fortunate to be a team. And I love you. I love you too. I'm so happy we're doing a sexy survivor again. We haven't done yes. it in a while. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna put all the links to everything she talked about in this post. Please share, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Jillian? 
Yes. And please remember, we have this amazing promotion with the sexiest beauty. Anything you buy, uh, if it's five items, we get $50 at Beautiful Self to continue our mission to empower survivors and stage four fighters of breast cancer. So take a look at the rose bomb. Take a look at those gorgeous new lip colors. Take a look at the skincare. You will not be sorry. As always, oh, and I'm here to answer any questions. So if you have any questions about color, just drop it down below. As always, stay strong, stay positive. You are beautiful and we will see you soon.